Hi, good morning. This is my channel, Angle Guys. My name is Daniel. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, thank you for uh, stopping by. Um, please have a look around. There's all sorts of interesting things on the channel, uh, like monthly and um, yearly hort and taroscopes, uh, pick a cards, daily forecasts, charm readings, all sorts of stuff. So you can look through the playlists. Uh, for those of you that are returning, welcome back. Thank you very much. For those of you that support me on Patreon, I thank you very much for the monthly subscriptions. I greatly appreciate it. Every um, subscription uh, helps to keep this stuff going, so I really appreciate it. Um, ways you can support the channel, either through subscriptions via Patreon at angleguys333. You can also follow me at Instra on Instagram at angleguys333. Or you can just like uh, a video, share the video out comment on it, ask any questions, um, subscribe to the uh, channel on YouTube and hit the notification bell, or like my business page on Facebook and follow there, hit the bell there so you are notified when I go live. Um, those are all ways of supporting the channel. And I think that's it. This is the daily forecast for Saturday the 7th, but I always intend this to be sort of the message for the highest and greatest good of the collective. So if you're seeing this and it's not Saturday, uh, March 7th, don't worry, uh, this could be your message for today. Um, Spirit has a way of working that way, so you might be in vibrational alignment for this message and it may not be the 7th. But those of you that are tuning in on the 7th, this is your message for today. Take what you need and leave the rest, because it is for the greater collective, it's just something to sort of focus on for our highest good, or to be made aware of. <clears throat> see where we're at. So by, we're at week's end and on Sunday's forecast we had that temperance card so I'm interested to see where we kind of landed because it felt like we sort of, I don't know, we did a little bit more work than I saw in the Sunday forecast. Like we needed to do a little bit more work than what was presented to me in the Sunday forecast. So this is the Nine of Cups. This is a lovely card. The Nine of Cups is always about sort of abundance. To me, this feels like almost a party of some sort. I know it is a Friday, or this is for Saturday, actually, this forecast. I'm taping it a day early because they're available 24 hours early on Patreon if you subscribe over there. But this, to me, almost looks like these cups are coming together to, like, celebrate. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys have a Saturday night celebration actual um, party to go to or some sort of an event, but I feel like this could be... The idea of an event um, or an actual event for some of you and if you go I feel like there is this um, opportunity to really shine and part of the reason why I see that is all of these little sparkles around the cups and then we have these two cups here which have the stars on them or actually there's three right but there's these stars which we saw where was that star I want to say on the eight of swords two days ago that felt like we were finally stepping outside of our comfort zone, stepping in front of our thoughts and maybe getting control of them and learning how to shine, right? And so to me, this looks like us actually taking the Four of Cups that we saw, this is kind of strange, the Four of Cups that we had seen in the earlier part of the week and that Eight of Swords energy that we saw and kind of balancing them and then getting this abundance and overflow of like sort of beneficial and positive emotion by Saturday. So to me, this could be that temperance card because when you look at, I believe in temperance, there's always that angel that's uh, moving the water from cup to cup. This almost feels a little bit more abundant than that. Temperance is more about balance, maybe withholding, holding back, being more careful or just uh, using more discernment in my mind. This to me feels like really kind of shining, going forward, enjoying what we've done this week and uh, what we've accomplished and kind of really relishing in that. And also maybe sharing those accomplishments with friends, right? Because this to me feels like everybody's gathering around us. Um, so if you don't feel as though you have a lot of friends or you don't have a lot of, you know, you don't have a party to go to per se or, or some sort of an event on Saturday night, maybe contact your friends in some other way, be it over the phone or whatever, touch base with them. I have a feeling that there's some sort of emotional sort of um, benefit that will come from this. There's something that needs to be shared or shown or 
but like, and I mean shown like in the sense of not just being shown to somebody, but like shown in the sense of like shining something brightly within us. It's these stars on these cups. To me, it feels like the work has been done. The balance took place of that four of cups. The um, mental sort of uh, work that we've done in this week is really beginning to pay off. And we're going into Saturday feeling, I don't know, like sort of abundant and full of ourselves. And I don't mean that in a like a braggery kind of way. I mean that more in a, a real genuine, nice way. So think about that today. This should be a day where you feel really connected to others, to yourself, emotionally, and, and it should be a positive day. If any of you are experiencing non-positive feelings, please leave me a comment and let me know what's going on. But to me, for the majority of you, if you guys seek this out, the opportunity is definitely there to enjoy um, your friends, your family, yourself, and allow them to enjoy and appreciate you too. Okay, this definitely feels like Obviously, it's a cups card, so it's emotionally centered, but it also feels like about a gathering to me or a coming together with maybe people we haven't talked to in a long time or we uh, haven't had the opportunity to see. But to me, this card is like literally, it looks like it's almost sparkling. Um, so allow yourself this moment to shine, okay? This next card is from the Universe Has Your Back deck. And all of these cards, I just want to say, is uh, uh, happiness is my birthright. Are some of you having a birthday party that are watching this? <laughs> um, or maybe I've got a, I know I have a few, quite a few Pisces viewers, so maybe it's because it's Pisces season and you guys have all been ex having your birthday and maybe this is, you know, everybody's seeing your shimmer and your shine because it's your birth month. We're also coming out of that retrograde, that Mercury retrograde, and it's going into, well, out of Pisces and it, it's going into Aquarius, so that might be a shift too. But this happiness is my birthright is just, to me, it's another opportunity to just sort of focus on ourselves being happy, ourselves being content, and knowing that it's our birthright, like that it, it belongs to each and every one of us, and it's up to us to give it to ourselves. It's not up to somebody else. It's not up to like, you know, our boyfriend or our mother or our sister or our, our boss at work to supply us with our happiness. If things aren't going the way we want them to, then we need to figure out either how to get them to go the way we want them to, or we need to focus on something else that's not giving us um, stress or, or worry. Now, with this Nine of Cups card, to me, it feels like Saturday is going to be an easy day to do that, right? To refocus and focus on things that are working or that are feeling abundant and good. And especially when it's backed up by this happiness is my birthright. To me, also, we have this moon here, right? Which says to, us, it says to me, it always indicates intuition. But I like how we have these three planets. We also have these three cups, right? 33, which is kind of a master number. But to me, it feels like these planets are sort of lining up in a way with our intuition. And we're becoming aware of what we deserve and really feeling that at a deep level and allowing others to honor that within us. I hope that makes sense. Now let me go to the grounding stone. The grounding stone is just a stone uh, that we kind of want to think about and ground in during the day. This, time. this really feels like it's going to be a nice Saturday for the majority of you. I hope that's the case. <laughs> so we have this on um, Obsidian, which is a definitely a grounding stone, right? For sure. But this is Enjoy. So I'm not sure what, like to me, there might actually be social opportunity here, like a party of some sort some sort of dinner or celebration coming together. But this is really about seeking out your own enjoyment with within yourself first emotionally, right? But also then like taking that and sort of pouring it forth into your relationships and knowing that it's yours to have and like just sort of taking it. There's no doubt, there's no worry. This enjoy stone says to me, ground in what it is that makes you the most happy, the most um, joyful. And, and uh, sort of, I want to say, like, sing your own praises if you need to. Uh, others are going to see it naturally, I feel like, with the sparkle of this Nine of Cups card. There's really like an emotional um, sea change happening this Saturday, where our focus becomes that of, uh, on positivity and the, seek the, actual, the active, actual seeking out of that. And so keep that in mind. Um, as you move through the day, go after the things that make you the most happy or that you enjoy. And that is your forecast for the day, guys.
I hope it makes sense. Please leave me a comment and let me know if it resonates. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the weekly. Have a great day. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.